So it's a new year and I got a hankering for some photographing. Hey everyone, um, I've come out to finish off a roll of Ekta that I got in this, my Shika D. Um, I was going to bring Veronica, but um, it's heavy, uh, my back hurts, and I just thought that, um, well, what I was photographing was probably going to be more suitable for what's left in that Yashika. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll see in a moment when I, uh, when I start going out. Um, yeah, so uh, unfortunately I've forgotten the base plate for my tripod. <laughs> That's actually still stuck on my Bronica, which as I just said, I'm left at home. Um, so rather than videoing myself stood around photographing, um, you're gonna kind of see what I'm seeing. Um, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Uh, I've got the mic here, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me, but um, you won't see me from now on. So um, yeah, stick around. Let's, uh, let's see what we can find. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me fine. It's a little bit windy today um, and I'm relying on the off-camera microphone, but um, me and my girlfriend took a walk the other day just around the kind of the, uh, the countryside just the north of Cardiff um, and um, I didn't have a camera with me, but I've come back because I spotted some locations that I thought might be interesting for a photo or two. Um, so uh, the first one is this dilapidated old farm building. Uh, I really like the um, kind of fallen in roof um, just the ramshackle nature of it and everything really um, I also like the, the, the little bit of a leading line across in front of it diagonally um, with, um, with the pathway through the field uh, so um, yeah just come up here to take a photograph of this um, I've got my Yashika D with me um, if you may or may not know uh, I've got a photography project going on at the moment um, I mean I say photography project it, it, this is a photography f photography channel so of course I do um, it's called uh, it's all right around here isn't it it's basically sort of a long-term running thing about uh, about Cardiff um, and kind of you know the city and the surrounding area essentially um, and I just thought that this would be this would be a nice addition to it uh, so yeah I've just come up here um, through the magic of video editing you will see the photograph very shortly um, unfortunately I have brought my tripod but forgot my tripod head because it is attached to the bottom of my Bronica which is in a different bag um, so this is gonna be some shaky footage unfortunately I'm having to shoot everything handheld so uh, you know hopefully it'll stick around so for the next picture I've gone for this composition um, I just, I liked how the, uh, you probably can't see it in the camera, so I'll just pan up a little bit, see the trees there? Um, so with the lens that I'm using on this Yashica, um, I mean it comes to the fixed lens, so it's the lens you have to use, um, it's, uh, it's a bit tighter of a crop than what the camera um, here is showing you. Um, it's framing it quite nicely, I think, I think the trees um, with, with kind of the, the bush on the one side and the leading line of the fence on the left, um, it frames this gate and this, uh, this exit from the field quite nicely. Um, I, I don't know how this one will turn out. Uh, you guys will, will see it very shortly. So the pathway um, leads through what used to be a field. Um, there's some construction work going on now to the, to the right of me. Um, I think they're building a new crematorium. Um, but the path still exists because it's a public footpath so they've had to build up a fence and basically leave the path here. Um, what, I, what I've decided to photograph here is you can probably see in front those two telegraph poles as they cross over the path. Um, I am a sucker for telegraph poles um, and lines and just straight things. Um, so um, I've got those I think nicely framing. Uh, it sort of looks a little bit like a tunnel uh, I think. I mean make, make up your own mind when, when you see it now. Yeah, so um, taking that, I, I, again, it, it, it may or it may not come off, but um, you know, we're, ju we're, just, we're just scouting around here, really, just taking pictures and seeing, seeing what we get. If we get one good one, that's good for me. Now, here's an example of uh, where you just stumble across something and think that'll, that'll make an interesting photograph. Um, just walking along um, this path here, which um, it, it cuts across the road now and uh, then heads into the grounds of a, of a hotel and then uh, some fields beyond. Um, but yeah, just walking 
down the path towards the hotel and um, there's, this, uh, there's this field to the left of me with just this upturned rusty bathtub. So I um, thought that might make an interesting image. So I've, uh, I photographed that to let me know what you think. Um, it's, I mean, it's just a bathtub, isn't it, at the end of the day, so uh, it, it might look crap. I thought I'd intersect at this point, um, just to say that the next couple of pictures didn't really come out very well. I, I don't know what the hell I did, to be honest. It looks like some sort of odd double exposure. Um, I'm still going to show them, um, because, you know, I videoed this and, and photographed them so you can see what the hell's gone on. But, um, yeah, just for a bit of warning, next two aren't particularly good. So um, this is that hotel or restaurant or whatever the hell it is that I, I was saying about that was the end of that road. Um, I kind of I kind of like the light how it's hitting the white building. So um, I've stopped and taken an image of this as well. I wasn't planning on photographing any buildings really, but um, you know again sometimes you stumble across things that you just like the look of. So I'm just walking down this lane now, and um, again telegraph poles just. Uh, just stop to take a take a shot of this. Um, I mean, you got the obvious leading line of the lane itself leading through the middle of the image, um, but then with these telegraph poles kind of crossing over, um, I really quite like the juxtaposition of the darkness of the sky with uh, the light of the foreground as well. Hopefully, that comes out nicely. Um, but uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. Old buildings are one thing I really, really like as well. Look at these stables. Aren't they cool? Um, the bright white kind of them as well. The fact the sun's kind of out now as well, just bouncing off that. I think this is going to look really, really nice. Um, I mean, you're going to see it now. Again, this is just, I'm just out for a walk and just shooting what I see and um, I remember seeing these but it's actually the building to the left that I remember the most because we were coming the opposite way. Um, but coming this way now instead, I prefer this one. So oh, this is the final image I've taken on this roll of film. It is not a full 12 that the, uh, the roll had a few images already on the before I came out this morning. But um, I've decided to use it for this. So yeah, you've got the sheep grazing in the distance. You've got that farmhouse up on the hill in the far kind of distance as well. Um, yeah, it, it might work. It's, it's quite an empty image, I, I know I'll give it that. Sorry, if you can hear a lot of wind noise, it's, it's suddenly picked up quite a bit windy. Um, yeah, it, it, it's quite an empty image. Uh, there's a lot of negative space, but if you've seen my kind of photography before, you, you probably know I, I, I like a lot of negative space. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this one, uh, this one will come out okay. I just got back to the car. Um, it's clouding up a little bit now. Um, they look like rain clouds that they're probably coming in from sort of the north. Uh, it, look, it looks like they're um, So um, yeah, I've come back to the car. Um, finished off off that roller vector. Um, I think some of those photographs should come out pretty nice. Um, I mean, I'm saying this. You've, you've just seen them all. <laughs> I, I obviously haven't yet. Uh, but you've just seen them all. Um, hopefully they've come out okay. Um, as usual, uh, you know, like and, and subscribe um, and all that. Uh, check out some of the other videos on the channel here. Um, and if you like uh, the photography that, that I do, um, please do check out my Etsy store. I, I've got like scenes for sale on there, um, but specifically from, from earlier in this project. Um, it's all right around here, isn't it? for sale on there. Not many of them left. Um, in fact, the tubs goes out, they might all be sold out. But if they are, go grab yourself a copy. I'm um, going to have some new stuff coming, coming for the next year as well. Anyway, as I said before, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye. See you all again soon.